Man, that is pretty blinding. Holy crap. How's that? Nope. Nope. Let's check. I think I finally found a camera angle. So I think we're going to keep it this way. Recently, I've been thinking a lot. Let me just make sure my keys are in my pocket so I don't lock my truck door. <laughs> Life has been pretty crazy lately. Yeah, I feel like I've gone through a ton of growth ever since I got this new job. Recently just got my license too. Finally, after months of having this truck, <laughs> finally getting my license is, feels pretty surreal. And it's so funny, I always have everything in my head of what I'm gonna say in a video and what I wanna say in a video. And then I actually get out here where I wanna record and everything. And I'm like, yeah, uh. <laughs> I've been thinking recently about particularly things that we enjoy. So recently I have been obsessed with vehicles and this kind of goes against everything I've kind of believe because I've always been like, well, not always, but oh crap, dude, really camera turned off. Dang, it'd be like that. All right, I guess the video is going to be super scuffed like this. I like this anyways. This is way better. So for a long time, I've really been against materialism. I had this big epiphany when I was going through my Pokemon card collection addiction. And I realized, man, I am so empty at the end of the day. I'm waiting so much time in my life to be able to buy these cards. And then I enjoy opening them up and looking at them, the, the, like the release of dopamine doing that. And then after I'm just left feeling depressed and wanting more. And so that kind of started me on my journey of getting rid of things I own and just being less reliant on things outside of myself. Because really what happens is it's not you actually relying on those things, but it's you projecting worth onto those things. And then it's giving you those feelings. So essentially you, Yes, those things are technically making you feel good, but you are the th person that is making those things let you make you feel good, if that means, if, if that makes any sense. But eventually, after being kind of an extremist with uh, getting rid of things, and I, I don't think you can necessarily be an extremist with minimalism unless you're that one guy who lived in a sewer in like, I don't know, the like really long time ago. I'll, I'll, I'll put up the name on the screen and he, the only thing he owned was a cup, but then one day he was like, man, this is like super luxurious and got rid of the cup and just drank water out of his hand. That, that's probably like the only type of extreme minimalism you can really have. In reference to other people, I was pretty extreme with my minimalism. But then eventually I realized that it's okay to have things and it's okay to enjoy them. You can't be like, connected to them and you can't rely on them if you have those two things under control you're allowed to have anything and enjoy anything but just knowing that it's not always going to be around and it's not always going to be there for you to enjoy and reaching that equilibrium is really nice figuring something out like that that you don't have to be on the extreme side of something and you can still enjoy things and be happy i'm not some buddhist monk who's reframing from anything in life. I'm like turning into a car guy and stuff. I'm looking at buying, uh, I've been searching for a Mustang for a while now. I wanna get one of those old hatchback Mustangs, not the like super cool looking uh, late 60s, early 70s ones, but like the um, late 80s, early 90s. I think those are so cool and you can make them look like Japanese cars. I think it's pretty dope. Recently, I've been battling with how much I enjoy cars. Finally, I've realized like it's okay for me to feel this way. It's a new experience and I get to learn so much out of it. Me enjoying cars has led me to learn so much about cars and eventually, I'm gonna be work doing all the work on my truck and you know my future Mustang alone and never go to a mechanic again. And it's because I enjoy cars that I've gotten to that state. So it's actually giving me something. And, and there's a ton of things like that. Like for instance, collecting Pokemon cards made me realize that yeah, maybe you shouldn't be spending every single dollar you make on uh, cardboard. <laughs> this 
all kind of segues into YouTube recently. I've really been struggling with YouTube with, I'll want to do something, but then I'll always think. And thinking isn't a bad thing. It's not inherently bad. But when the thinking is like on the cusp of always being negative, like for instance, I'll have a video idea and I'll be like, oh yeah, let's do that. And then I'm like, well, wait, this doesn't fit with the content that I, I've, I've made and have made. Or for instance, I made a video the other day called Custom Zombies Review. I wanted to start a new series. And one of the thoughts that came to my head was, well, I can't do this because it's gonna look like I'm regressing five years back and going back to making the same content I made five years ago. But I gotta get to not caring about that because it's okay for me to enjoy stuff like that. If I wanna do it, I'm going to do it because at the end of the day, it's art. It's what I wanna make and that's fun. And also, if I'm enjoying what I'm doing more and doing whatever, it has a bigger chance to help other people out too. Like maybe inspire somebody to do art of their own or or just even something stupid with helping their day out not that my videos do that at all but it could it, it has a higher potential to if i'm actually enjoying what i'm doing and doing whatever so i'm trying to get into the groove of just making whatever content i want to make because i can and getting rid of that awful thinking thinking's great guys please don't stop thinking but sometimes thinking is kind of, but yeah, life's been crazy. Um, thanks for watching the video guys. Just wanted to talk to you. I uh, felt inspired, wanted to do something, wanted to get in my truck and talk to you. I want to do more videos like this, eventually cruising in my truck. And yeah, thanks for watching. Peace. Yeah.